in this episode we will learn how to implement python scip package odint for solving nth order ordinary differential equation mainly the ivp that means initial value problem any ordinary differential equation of order n of this form y superscript n that means any derivative with respect to the variable x that is equal to some function f which is function of x y y double prime continued up to some n minus 1 n derivative with respect to x of this form which is known f that can always be transformed into n coupled first order equations how to do that we try to understand this let us consider the following substitution that is y 0 equals to y y 1 equals to y prime 1 derivative y 2 equals to y double prime in this way up to y n minus 1 that is equals to y superscript n, mi n minus 1 that means n minus 1 and derivative now we can convert this this equation into a n, n number of first order equations which is easy to easy to implement using scip or any other programming methods first and you just substitute y means y0 prime that means y0 prime equals to y1 the next equation is you just substitute here that means that is equals to y1 prime that means y1 prime equals to y2 in the similar way y2 prime equals to y3 and continued up to y n minus 1 derivative derivative of y n minus 1 that is equals to f this function which is known x y means y naught y prime means y1 from here and dot 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 up to y n minus 1 and this can be solved if we know there is a uh, uh, in if we know the in auxiliary conditions what are this in auxiliary condition what are these these are called initial condition this is called ivp initial value problem if these conditions are specified at the same value of x the problem is said to be an initial value problem initial condition are specified as y not at particular x equals to a that is equals to alpha not y1 at x equals to a that is equals to alpha 1 dot 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 y n minus 1 at x equals to a that is equals to alpha alpha subscript n minus 1 these are known these are given from for solve solution these are given now we'll try to understand how to convert any order differential equation into a n coupled first order equations let us consider this example y double prime equals to alpha y prime alpha y prime plus k square y equals to 0 let us first substitute this y not equals to y two variables are needed and y1 equals to y prime that means that means y just you substitute here that means y0 prime that is equals to y1 and the second equation is the here you can see y double prime equals to alpha y prime minus k square y that means y do what is y double prime what is y double prime here if you take the double derivative that means y1 prime that means it means y1 prime that means here y1 prime that is equals to alpha alpha of y1 y y prime means y1 y1 k square y naught these are two coupled equation first order equation and first order equation is easy to implement using od int or any other first order pro pro problem programs that means uh, this is fx is known and there are some with initial condition that is not written here but any basic idea of transforming it is described here and it can be thrown into the matrix form matrix form that is ddx of which is ddx of y not y1 this y not one in the left hand side that is equals to what is that that's equals to uh, this thing whole in the right hand side and if we know the initial values of this and recursively we run and we can easily solve this okay 
I think uh, it is clear. Now I am going to implement the uh, ODINT using that is the main Python package. First we try to solve the first order differential equation using scipy.integrate.odint package. Consider dx dt equals to some differential equation 1 minus 4 third multiplied by t multiplied by x. This is a first order equation and x not equals to the initial condition x at t equals to 0 which is 1 and uh, plot the solution by mat matplotlib along with the exact result. The what is the exact result of the differential equation is given by this. And first, we try to solve numerically using ODI and T. For the but that reason, I have to import import numpy as np. And from scipy dot integrate, I have to import import dot or uh, import ODI and T. This package will solve first order equations import and as well as I am trying to import import matplotlib.pyplot as plt it will be utilized later on first uh, rather it is x um, first we uh, define a function uh, of the, this right hand side of this thing and it will require two things x and t so we define a function which is model which requires x and t colon and the value of and this case not required at all it is not required for this particular problem and dx dt that means the derivative the variable known as dx dt that is equals to 1 minus this thing is written here 4 multiplied by t this thing and it will return the dx dt if we uh, input x and t it will uh, compute this quantity the known function and it will return recursively if we know first you have to know at some t some t equals to 0 the value of x which is x0 the first uh, this is x0 will be x0 at t equals to some 0 x0 will be multiplied and dx dt then and if we um, supply the next value after some time displacement that will be inputted to the model and computed this and return it will return recursively so here initial condition is x not equals to 1 uh, which is written here x not equals to 1 and i am just creating a time slice say 0 to 10 thousand points i am creating a lean space np dot lean space it will create it, um, 10 to 0 to 10 a thousand points and how to solve od that is equals to x the container x it will be an array we will see later on odint i am calling odint this odint first you have to define the model model means this function this function will be called we require at least two things this is the minimum requirement x0 which is the initial value and t0 over which you are trying to solve this is a, it, this is a time slice is, is a time array 0 to 10 this is an array of 1000 points first 0 point and x0 that means the known values is inputted to the model in this function calculated then the next point this is a slicing time slicing over which uh, the time array over which it will be calculated and it will be returned and x will be another array and you just check it and if we take the print of that x and you will see what is the x the form of x and i'm trying to run and and this is the array this is the array now uh, just check the array properly uh, this is the array where we store all these values and and you just just uh, block it uh, this thing you block it and and first you plot the x uh, numerical i think this should be an x x uh, here uh, just use of uh, this is not a y and this is your x x thing the over which uh, on which you are uh, it is an array where the odi and will be returned and the t is the time slice and the first you plot plt dot plot t 
the time slice time array and the x is the this the solved uh, solution that will be returned by the ODI and T. Uh, that means we get a table of T and X position time say say position time this is not mentioned here position time say um, and um, uh, which will be plotted by dot R but some points and mark every 25 and level on and this is and the next uh, level is numerical and the next one is plot T NP dot the exact solution which is given here this thing exponential of this thing I am just um, writing in Python and which is labeled as a line with black color level is exact plot x level is uh, x level is t and this is your uh, uh, x of x of t x of t and uh, plt dot legend location based and if you want to say plt dot say figure solution dot eps or any other format that you want to and plt your show and that now run what happens to it okay wow this is the your solution and the black black line is the exact solution analytical solution and the red dots are your numerical solution returned by ODI and T. so i am repeating ODI and T will be return some arrays of x over this time okay and if we make the if mark fd is 15 there will be a little bit much more dense uh, points will be there the points are dense to one and if you make much more and this will make it much more yes the points are very closely follow the exact results numerical is a very good almost follow the exact results so this is the first order in the next um, episode we will cover the second how to implement the second order thing